So, tadi kita we already learn about um how our electrons can absorb energy and release energy. So when they release energy, will they fall back to a lower uh, energy level from a higher energy level from the excited state? Okay, they can emit um light a uh, photon. Okay, so from there you can actually form emission spectra okay spectrum so there are two types of spectrum you have the continuous spectra continuous spectra is the first one here okay our rainbow and our line spectra are these three okay for example so your continuous spectra um, is actually produced when a white light is passed through a prism Okay, and then it will produce rainbow colors. Okay, contoh awak ada white light, you pass through a prism, and then you will get rainbow colors. This rainbow color is actually your continuous spectrum. Okay, so you have a uh, different colors of light representing different wavelengths. So your white light it is a combination of all various colors. Therefore, when you pass it through this prism, you will form rainbow because you have all the wavelengths present in your continuous spectrum. So, awak akan dapat continuous colors ni. Okay? Like a rainbow. That is your continuous spectra. Whereas, your line spectra is the opposite lah. So, it is not a white light but it is like sodium gas or hydrogen gas or even mercury okay so yang ni when you pass this through your prism you will get discrete lines okay so these discrete lines actually represent um just a specific wavelength lah okay and then our other gap so ada wavelength number two and then wavelength number three contoh okay so that's why it's called a line spectra because you only get lines, right? So, continuous spectra, we know that it is a spectrum consisting of radiation with unbroken, what's it, continuous sequence of frequencies, okay? Frequencies over a relative wide range of wavelengths. So, you have all the wavelengths, okay? Contohnya, in your electromagnetic spectrum or even rainbow so basically your continuous spectrum um, you can find in the region of electromagnetic KEM spectrum so this electromagnetic spectrum it lies in the visible region okay? our region we have Gamma ray region, X ray, ultraviolet, UV, IR, infrared, microwave, radio waves. These are called region. Okay. So our electromagnetic spectrum, our continuous spectrum, is in the visible region. That's why you can see all these colors. Okay. Okay. So, ini yang macam tadi yang saya cakap, you just pass through white light uh, through a prism and you will get your screen filled with rainbow colors. So, line spectrum pula, how is it? It is the opposite. So, you get, it's a spectrum consisting of discontinuous or discrete, okay, discrete maksudnya, specific lines, okay, memang, um, memang nampaklah satu line. With specific wavelengths. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry guys. So specific wavelengths and frequencies. Okay. So each of this line is actually produced by the transition of your electron between two energy levels. So maksudnya... Awak ada delta E lah. Awak punya elektron tu dia bergerak daripada atas bawah atau bawah atas. Okay. 
So how is it formed? So instead of white light, you are actually you have a gas discharge tube. So kat sini awak masukkan awak punya gas apa apa, and lalu kan kat prism, and you get um apa you will get spectral lines. Okay, so these spectral lines have specific wavelength and frequency. Okay, frequency pun um berbeza lah. Okay. And you can see that you have this gap, kan? Or the blank space, and then baru dapat line. And so the blank space baru dapat line. So maksudnya dia tak continuous lah. That's why it's called line spectrum. So contohnya, a line spectrum kita ada is for hydrogen atom. Okay, kalau awak letak hydrogen atom kat dalam awak punya gas discharge tube. So you will form this line spectrum macam ni. Okay. So, um, each of this line spectrum has specific wavelength and frequency. Okay. So, let's um, understand okay, how to, how these line spectrums are formed uh, in terms of energy level diagram. So, basically, benda sama lah berlaku. Your electron, okay, your atom, they absorb energy. When it absorbs energy, maksudnya your electron will be promoted from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. Okay, dia naik, naik, kena promoted. So, once it is uh, at a higher energy level, it becomes unstable. Okay, because it is at the excited state. So, what happens is that your electrons will fall to a lower energy level. Okay, your end final with a specific wavelength. Okay, so specific wavelength for each of these um transition. Okay, and you can detect these transition in the line spectrum. So, maksudnya daripada energy level diagram, daripada energy level diagram yang ni lah specifically because we have emission of photon, your energy is released, you will form your line spectrum. Okay, so your line spectrum, it has a few series, okay. Sebab so, kita ada banyak-banyak elektron yang, uh, your electrons can fall from different energy levels to different energy levels, okay. So, NF is basically where your um, electron falls to and I will be from where your electron fell, okay. So, if your electron fell from energy level 1, so your NF is equal to 1, it will form in the Lyman series. If your electron fell from energy level 2, it will form in the Balmer series. Okay. If 3, Paschian series, Paschian series, if 4, Bracket series, a five fun series. So these um these show where your electrons fall to. Okay, your energy level final. All right. So down here, okay, we can fill in for Lyman. We know that the Electron can fall from energy level 2, 3, 4 and so on. So it will, it must fall to energy level 1. Okay. And your Lyman series is actually in the UV region, ultraviolet region. Okay. So this one you know what it is. It will be Balmer series. Okay. It must fall to energy level 2 and it can fall from energy level 3, 4, 5 and so on. The spectrum region is visible region. Okay. So the rest you fill in by yourself. Right. So tadi saya cakap your electrons can fall from different can have um, can transit from different energy levels to different energy levels. So here, 
let's say when your electrons fall to energy level 1 okay from energy level 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on it will form a line in Lyman series so each of these arrow will show a line in your line spectrum in the Lyman series so let's say if your electron fell to falls to energy level 2 you will form line in Balmer series okay so in this case right here down here we have a, a line spectrum in the Balmer series okay the first line first you have oh my, you detect the first line the first line will be the one with the um, widest gap okay it's not this one it is this one this is the first line so what does the first line tell you the first line actually tells you that okay since we know that balmer series uh, you have to fall to n f equals to 2 okay that means the first line is when your electron transit from n equals to 3 okay so just above uh, your final energy level okay so the second line is when n i is equal to 4 and the third line is when n i is equal to 5 and this one 6 lah okay so from that okay from here since we know the series and we know the first line and we know from where and to where okay um you can collect information lah from your line spectrum okay so here we have um an energy level diagram okay your electron is falling to n equals to 2 so this is the balmer series okay so ini yang fall to energy level 1 lah daripada higher energy level to energy level 1 atau first orbit okay atau first shell tapi biasa kita cakap energy level lah okay so let's look here okay going from Lyman to Balmer you can see that the gap okay the gap is increasing okay so this is actually telling you that the wavelength or lambda is increasing your lambda is increasing going from Lyman series to Balmer series to uh, Passion series bracket series to fun series okay so take note of that lah okay so this is your wavelength okay makin lama makin besar gap dia so that means if your lambda your wavelength is increasing okay that means your energy is decreasing lah delta e awak decreasing okay so how about frequency so if your lambda is increasing that means your frequency is decreasing okay so going from left to right here okay going to the right you know that your energy is decreasing and your wavelength is increasing so that means your frequency is actually decreasing okay so nanti soalan akan tanya macam uh, which of the line um, produce uh, the longest wavelength macam tu. is produced from the long produce along the longest wavelength macam tu. so you have to know how to identify all right so ini adalah emission series for your hydrogen atom so you have leman bali pasar atau pasang bracket Find, okay. 
So this is a way for you to remember lah the sequence of your series. Okay, the emission series of your hydrogen atom. So, lemon balik pasang bracket fine is basically the um way for you to memorize lah. So, let's do this example here. I will show you. Fulling diagram is the line spectrum of hydrogen atom. Line E is the first line. Dia bagi tahu siap-siap ini adalah first line. Tapi kalau dia tak bagi tahu pun, awak boleh tahu sebab ini adalah yang paling uh, that has the widest gap. Okay. So this is your first line. Okay. Of the Lyman series. So maksudnya from here you know that NF is equals to 1. Okay. So specify the increasing order of radiant energy, frequency and wavelength of the um, of the emitted photon. So which of the line corresponds to the shortest wavelength? Dia kata. So, so how do we know? So kita akan tengok. Okay. We look at the gap. So here we know that the gap uh, represents the wavelength. So, the wavelength is decreasing from left to right. Okay. So, we can write this down. Wavelength is decreasing. Since we know that the wavelength is decreasing, we can know that the frequency is increasing and the radiant energy is increasing as well. Okay. Berapa banyak energy is released. Okay. So, who has the shortest wavelength? So, since we say that going to the right, the wavelength is decreasing, that means line E corresponds to the shortest wavelength. Okay? Line E has the shortest wavelength. So, lowest frequency pula. Lowest frequency, since we say that the, wave, uh, the frequency uh, is increasing from left to right. Okay, so maksudnya ini adalah highest frequency lah. Line E has the highest frequency. So that means on the other end here, line E has the lowest frequency. Okay, so that's how you interpret your line spectrum. Ni awak buat sendiri lah. Okay, example 3. Ini pun I think you can um, try describing the transition. So when describing the transition, okay, ini awak, first awak kena identify which line gives the, uh, corresponds to the longest wavelength of photon. And then you have to describe the transition that gives rise to the line. So here you have to tell, so let's say when line toot is formed, when the electron is absorb, absorbs energy and promoted from n equals to what to n equals to what? Okay. So then your electron is excited. Okay. And then at the excited states, n equals to berapa to? The electron becomes what? Unstable. Okay. So then it will fall back to a lower energy level. n equals to berapa? Okay, depending on your um, series in the form of light called photon. So, the energy release is detected by a detector and line upper toot is formed on the spectrum. Okay, so do these exercises. Okay, and we will continue with the next video.